Oh, lube. It's important. That's the first time I've ever said that on YouTube. But yeah, maybe I should have done. Right, no cheating. I'm gonna give you one guess. What has Luke got in front of the Manitou Palette Fox? I've applied for the carve grant. Dad went to market yesterday. Got all of it. What does Ollie Bloggs call it? The damage fairing. Father, rearranging the mudguard. And I need to do it by the end of next year. What else has happened whilst I've been away? Everything. What an absolutely beautiful morning. Full of carves again. Carla got E. coli. Fortunately, she's back up. She was not looking good apparently whilst I was away. Looks a little bit tight on the belly, if you know what I mean. She had a date with the bull yesterday. Oh, hello! Hello! What we got? Morning! Still need a billy for them. Good morning everyone. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday. Sometimes we do the Sunday video. And today, I've got good news. Good news, people. We are back. You can ask, where have I been? And I've been, I've been on maternity leave. I've been with my new boy, Harvey John Andrew Pemberton. I'll show you a picture of him later. But yeah, it's my first day back, which is exciting. We do have a bit of frost. I've been absolutely devastated. I've missed quite a lot on the farm, but we're gonna catch you all up. I've nicked the van, obviously. I'm gonna go do some bedding up from over the road. But we're gonna nick it to bring it here. Felco's meant to arrive today, but that hasn't done. Beautiful, beautiful frosty day. Obviously Harvey is class, he's great. He's been sleeping through two, not through, but sleeping like four hours, three hours stint. So I've been getting more sleep having the time off than I have done at work. It's mad. Yeah, look at this thing. Wow, she's beautiful. But yeah, obviously having Harvey is class, it's amazing. I've missed being at work, not gonna lie. I like being busy, I like moving. I have been quite organized at home. The washing gets done, the actual dishes get done. Don't like putting a dishwasher on, cost too much money, and just kind of regimented what we do in the day, and then just had to kind of do something, keep moving. So I have actually been working as well. The loser I am, although Dad's been spreading muck in this field, he's made a bit of a mess. He did ring me and said, worst field was where you got the roller stuck a few years ago, and that was it. It's in there. Get some sheep in there, that'd be fine. But yeah, so the other thing I did, whilst I was off, I got an Excel sheet. I worked out what, how much silage, maize, meal, selco we were feeding, and at what rate, how much it's costing us per litre, and then what the rates were in the parlour of what we were feeding, and what our costs were, and how many litres it was, just to cover costs. And then I worked out how much it costs for us to feed the dry cows. So then you take away how much it costs to feed the dry cows from your other costs of how much it costs to feed your milking cows and that number works out if cows don't produce that amount of milk and I think it's not very high at all I think it's about 8.2 litres I've actually got it to about five decimal places and because I'm a loser I like it being if cows don't produce that much milk it's literally not worth milking them dry them off let them have a good dry off period and then let them um, come back stronger because we've got a couple of stale cows you'll see that in the maze video when we bring it out and I'll bring that out very very soon um, probably on Tuesday next week I was trying to bring it out whilst I was away but it just needs finishing off um, so the maze of how we're getting on with the maze bit of a loser but I did order some while I was away, and I think Dad has used it this morning. We'll see him. Pretty sure I just dropped my gloves. <laughs> gloves. Last job I did before we went. So Joe had a C-section. It was a pan C-section. So I've known about that two weeks before it actually happened. And we moved the Highland cows, all of our Highland cows, to here because we were struggling for space in the farm. Still struggling for space. Really. Oh yay! She's frozen. Is she going to start? That is the big question today. Is she going to start? Is she going to start? <laughs> Good. Got all of it. What does Ollie Bloggs call it? The damage fairy. Someone's broken that. It's annoying. That's very, very annoying. See, very nicely pushed up, isn't it? We do have the beef in here. The farm shop just needs three more for in between Christmas and New Year, because a lot of people order a lot of stuff for New Year. Christmas beef is already in, hanging, which is good. We need to figure out who's gonna go. Definitely not that side, but this side. Check these guys as well. They're dry. Dad mucked these out fully, because one of the water troughs was um, exploded. 
Well, if it wasn't here, I think cows had probably licked it and licked it and licked it and broken it. But all right, the dry. We're looking at doing a bit of changing around here and trying to improve this place. Is the plan because we're currently bucketing cake into the feeder. Like, right, look at putting maybe a feed bin here, start feeding these guys some barley, just to finish them off. Because the point way we're doing it at the moment is a little bit expensive. Put a new pusher up there whilst we're away because at the moment we've come in from, we have to either drive from the farm over the road with the Manor 2, drive all the way here and push grass up and then drive all the way back, which is probably about 25 minutes. So I've got a pusher up here from G Kenny Agricultural Supplies. Bought it, they're about 300, they're actually 380 quid. I got it for 360 quid. Put a tine in there or you can put a uh, pallet fork in there. So it's quite good, you can just use it. Dad says it needs a little bit of fettling so far. It's not just as you drive on where you've pushed up. So I just need to look it out. We'll have a look at that later on. Yeah, so at the moment we're bucketing tote bags called a, called a beef finishing mix, about 300 quid a ton. We're looking at changing that and then actually get some barley, crushing it. I think barley at the moment is about 160, 180 a ton. Roll it and crush it. You right? There's a pallet on there, try and put on these forks and get it down. Try and put the pallet on them yeah, forks. Just pull this net down. Like yeah. Problem with dad doing this too much. Pushes the sheet back with the machine. That's why everybody trying to go at yeah, a party jumping off. And we put in on a show. Trying to catch a vibe. We do this every time. Like, na, 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 na. Feeling like I'm on a highway. Cause everything been going my way. And now they looking at me sideways. I'm like, na, 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 na. I was trying to save this sheet, but there's a big rip in it. So there's no point. No point at all. This is where I wanna stay. I could do this every day. It don't matter what they say. Sheet is off. That'll be enough for him for start next week. Wednesday today. It's not very straight, but we'll get these tied up items and start rolling them that way. We got some space. I'm pretty happy, pretty pleased with the top. The side is what I was worried about because we actually filled up quite high. It's actually settled a bit. Always make sure that the bag or the tire or whatever you've got on it is not resting on the wall so it weighs it down. I know this corner looks a bit. Oh god, went down a bit more than I thought. It's probably that much. It's fluffy stuff, it's not hard. You get to here and that's all good there. That's all good. Probably going a little bit, but I'm happy with that. I'm not. It's exciting. I'm not too disheartened by it. There's a bit of shit I don't want putting in the dad putting in the feeder. That rubbish. Joys of having a roof on the size of mine. As you all know, I've got Grant on mine, and I need to do it by the end of next year. If I don't do it, I've lost my Grant. It's worth about seventy-two thousand pounds. Then you've got to find the other probably seventy thousand. Steel price has gone down a bit, I think. I hope. So I really want to put a roof on our side of the camp. It's one of those jobs that needs doing, but is it a necessity? It lasted last 30, 40 years without it. Ain't never going home. What are you putting on? Dry cow minerals. Dry cow minerals, so. You put it on, you mix it in the feed with it. And we're going to feed that the dry cows and the bullet efforts. That's all they get, that. that's all they get, silage. And that bit there. He's measured it out to perfection, obviously. Like I was saying, it's a pain in the arse at the moment. Loading the thing full of nuts for the beef stock, aren't it? Do for the There's no bucket today, and I can't get a one to a trapped in. So what I do on a day like this, I feed them salads, and I carry two buckets, four buckets, and feed them by hand. Do you want to do that? Yeah, but yeah, I can do, yeah. I'll look at your machine as well. I'll yeah, leave that off. Good pallet force. I'll do it tomorrow. 
Yeah. You need to get off. Yeah, Mum's got a uh, check up. So she I had a hip operation about five weeks ago. Just mainly the beefers. Sometimes the beefers. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, that's done. Your roof's done. Your bad hay's gone. Like I say, my dad was coming every day with a man or two and pushing up, or he was making sure she wasn't feeding them too much. There. People do that, know the value of a um, silage, and they've been short of grass. I am those people. The day of letting cows out, we were feeding the last grab for about six years ago. I know the value of silage, 100%. So that's what we do. Well, normally, like I say, Dad will have the bucket and I'll load the bucket up like this with buckets into his bucket and put it into the feeder. And it's more expensive to buy it in tote bags like this. But we don't have a bin, so I'm talking about Collinson's and getting a bin. I went to watch the Charlotte Ashley's video yesterday. Another YouTuber, you would have seen her and Roy. Really like Roy, he's a good lad. Uh, he doesn't go on camera too much. And they have a barley crusher, so buy barley in, crush it, and then feed it like that. If we did it, if I'm honest, go to a local farmer, buy some barley in, find a way to crush it or squish it, because if you don't squish it, you won't get the nutrients you need from it, it just goes straight through them, and then load the bin. So could I get like a, a big bin, as it or silo, that we've been to concerts before, could I get one of the openers on it, tip the barley in, crush it, and then tidy it or trip it into there? Because I don't like this as well, there's a lot of woodland around here, and squirrels. Squirrels like to nick this, and rats obviously. We don't like rats. I hate rats. So if I was ever an army celebrity, which is never gonna happen, the way to get me, rats. Mice, not too bad. Rats, not about that life. Gah, rat, oh, hate it. So this was kind of Christmas beef, with New Year beef, I'll have to just see three. I have to pick three out. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, you don't finish with barley, but I'm going to try it just so I can finish them a little bit better. It's quite hard to finish them on just grass, and we are killing between 24 months, really. So they're a bit small at 24 months. I've had some barley, rolled it. I'm paying 300 quid a ton for this stuff in tote bags at the moment. Like I say, barley's at 160, 180. Crush it, maybe 30 quid a ton. I could save myself. 90 pounds a ton at least, and that's probably being probably being a bit pessimistic, is it? I reckon I can do more, so that's the plan. Put a bin there, do I crush it or do I buy it crushed? I don't know how much it will cost us to buy it. Some crushed barley in, get it blown in the thing instead of doing any of that. So I don't normally do this, Dad normally feeds. I'm coming here because I need the straw blower. I'm just giving him a hand because obviously he's got to get done. So each bucket's around eight to 10 kilos. Four buckets, 40 kilos, there's 31 in there. Getting 1.25 kilos of mix a day. And they probably eat 20 kilos a day, maybe. Maybe. So of their diet is 5% this, 95% grass. So yeah, that's what I'm looking at it. It's amazing when you're away. What do you try and look, have a look at how you do it? Father, rearranging the mudguard. I had much to caught it yesterday. I couldn't drive out. It was catching the wheel. How did you get it here? I drove it here. So I was only meant to be picking this up. What? Top's done. Is there? Right, cool. I might need a barn as well, that's all. Oh, as well? Just like to say a big thank you for everyone, A, who put a congratulations on the new baby, and B, the people who watched the videos uh, whilst I was away. Obviously, you can tell I've edited some videos or made some videos, and then they put a bit out of date, but I knew there'd be a good time to put them in. Obviously, I have a baby being off for two weeks. Joe needed it. It was a C-section, like I said. Uh, just like to say thanks for that. People seem to really like the Metcalfs, is absolutely class. The cow's foot, I actually didn't know how that was going to go down. People quite liked it. YouTube normally stops those kind of videos, so that was really, really good. Um, so a big thank you to everyone for that. 
appreciate it. Uh, we are back. Today's obviously what we're going on to is like just just a return, just catching up with little things, just trying to answer a couple of questions that were made. When we did the maze video, it was a lot longer than what it should be. So I actually only videoed the first day. So I want to see where we're up to on the maze and then after that a bit of back day videos again. Probably the worst farming day I've ever had. A few of you will know what it means. Um, but we'll see that. Yeah, I think you'll you can tell from my face of how cool that was, so you'll see it. I'm past it now. We are past it now. It's um, an absolutely shocking day. The day before my birthday, if anyone knows when my birthday is, that's when that happens. And again, I had to get my head around it before I posted the video. I had to just realise what it meant, how it meant, what it meant for me, what it meant for the business. I was very shocked. I think the whole family was shocked by it. It was just a horrible, horrible two weeks. Before I get my head around it, realise what it meant for me, what it meant for the business, what it meant for us. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're over it now, but before, let's get through the whole process and then I can show you what was going on, how it's going on, what I've learned from it, and um, yeah, you'll see that. And the other thing as well is I will not be going to all these festive tractor convoys. Unfortunately, I had something else booked to do with charity. I'm doing a charity milking. Uh, so I was going to the farm milking a cow on the tent, and um, so I'll be busy with that, unfortunately, so I won't be going. But if you do want to donate, I'll put the link down below. It's a really, really good cause for all the hay charity children's charity it's amazing amazing cause yeah a bit gutted i couldn't go but you just can't be in two places at once right let's get back and get these cows bed it up I couldn't see anything. Bed it up better. So look. So look. So look. Ah, oh, beautiful. Happy carbs. And the other thing as well, we're just gonna bed up with a big black bale. Some of so the black bales that we made two, three years ago, we chatted about these quite a bit. The feed value in them is rubbish. They are very, very dry. So just putting through the straw chopper and bedding up with them. They've actually worked really, really well, which is ace. Yeah, one of them bins, but can they do it with the door open to tip barley in or something? So what else has happened whilst I've been away? Dad went to market yesterday. I wanted to go as well, um, but just that extra day with Joe is definitely worth it. So it's a bit good. I've never been to market. Well, I say that's a lie. Went to market years ago. Not been to market for a while now. We went once. Fun the value of like the bull calves was worth nothing. Went to him, took four, got 15 quid for him, and thought, I ain't doing that again. But then he sold some yesterday, to the average 460 quid, which is pretty good. So I've got some smaller ones to sell. So we'll put, take them to market next week. So we'll probably get a video on that. It's very exciting. And I'm gonna take them. And um, the ones that we've just bedded up, we're gonna look at some in the car building, and then maybe some more in here again. So we're just full of stock. We've got stock everywhere. So I could do with uh, getting rid of a bit, to be honest. Right, I'll show you how we do this. There we go. So these get scraped up every Monday. They actually got bedded up yesterday. There's a couple of holes in the roof. So I'm just not happy with them, so we're gonna use that bale anyway. It's tired anyway, so we'll use that. And the importance of pushing up. So every big farm I've been to, so I've been to the Ikes in Worcestershire. I think it's the Ikes, Richard and Simon. One of the nicest guys I've ever met, and what an incredible farm. And met calves, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Look, we just pushed all that up. Look at the cows. Oh, lube, it's important. One of the best machines we've ever bought. Very, very good. Right, no cheating. I'm gonna give you one guess. What has Luke got in front of the Manitou pallet fox? Right, guess, stop the video, put it in the comment section, but you can't guess it. Anyone on a pull table, make me an offer, you can have it. I'll put it on a pallet there. Put it somewhere else. Yeah, just next to there. Crap. so sweet and I can't deny it. Life's a treat, I just wanna try 
trying to think what else we've done well as well. Sprayer got put inside because of the frost. Selco has just arrived. Also as well, I'm just trying to update you on what's happened the last two weeks. Um, I've applied for the calf grant. I've put myself in for the, uh, the ballot for it. My application is strong apparently, which is good. I do need to um, just organize a couple of stuff with it as well. Gonna make it quite big because I should have made the shed bigger, I think. That's the first time I've ever said that on YouTube. But yeah, maybe I should have done. So I'm actually gonna go for a big calf grant, try and really utilize, trying to make it self-sufficient. Maybe look at solar for a water heater in there so we can keep everything clean. And I'm gonna look for rainwater harvesting for it. I'm gonna try and try and make it the best calf house I can. So if anyone has new calf house or even an old one that's really, really good, an hour or an hour and a half away from me, uh, you can let me know, I can have a look around. I don't need to video, I just wanna get a lot of ideas. Please let me know. It's hard to look through all the comments. Maybe contact me on Instagram or emails. My email's down there. I just put calf house or something like that. I'd be really, really interested. If you don't mind me looking at some ideas and trying to like get the best calf house we can, there's a plan. Not looking at that at the moment, I've applied for it and probably have a look in spring how we want to do it and where we want to go for it. I just need to pay a couple of bills off. And like I was talking about before, I really, really want to roof this. I need to roof that in the next 12 months. The calf grant would be great because I'm just full of calves. That's why I have to sell calves. We've got too many. And I actually think calves are actually getting a bit poor because we've got too many on. So that's why we're selling them a little bit. If we get a big calf house, we can rear all our calves. If we don't finish our farm shop, we can sell it to market. It's finished. I don't have to go to market, maybe go to Dumbia or something like that. It's my idea. It's actually a bit thicker than the last two loads, which is good. Probably using a load of this a month at the moment. A uh, few more cows on. The other thing, if I had a roof on here, because if it rained, washes and it washes away not not really it doesn't wash too bad i've, I've heard of other places that's horrific but if it was nice and dry on here you wouldn't have like this bits and i really should go for it but i just need to cover some bills before i start doing that the car building thing i'm very excited about right? but this roof thing i've been talking about it for two years but i have 12 months left it needs to be done this is annoying it's just rainwater held back by the snow not a bad tip that really when did you load it? Today? Yeah. That is Selco arrived. So we pushed this grass up as well because I've got to reverse down here and bed these. 270 on the brush. Oh, so that was the cow. Whilst I've been away, I've had two cows that have been poorly, but they've been getting better. One on the brush. Separator's been working. You'll see at the end of the last video, the video before. This separator's bloody good, isn't it? Yeah. So good. Excuse my language on that one. Um, but yeah, really, really good. We'll, we'll catch up with that next video. Don't see it too much. What else has happened whilst I've been away? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> a million cows calved. A million cows calved. Dad went to market. Do we need a new calf building? Yeah, new Right, I'll uh, blow this in. The wearings have been a progress with some stuff. Like, I just can't. I used to, when we did the big cow shed, make sure no one came when I wasn't here. You know, when I was doing um, the BBC, uh, the Fast and Farmers TV program. You just can't do it. Can't stop people coming Two dry cows pulled out, so we pulled dry cows 10 to 14 days before carving, put in the milking herd, people ask me, do you have problems? Um, not really, don't really have milk fevers, but that one that was down this morning we were chatting about, that did have a milk fever in here. I know, so that was a bit of a nightmare. Unfortunately I wasn't here, I just heard about it, which is always even worse. This isn't my finest work in here, when I was bedding up. So dad took nine out of here yesterday, it's the best nine. I think we're gonna have enough Anguses, aren't we, for the farm shop? Well, I, if you look at the, you know, you look at the car and it's on the computer, you just Angus. see Angus for the next six months, so. Yeah, because of, obviously, we're, because of Nigel, and us working in the bale, we put Nigel on the cows quite a lot. So we just got Anguses, Anguses, Anguses. So even the farm shop's not gonna need that many. We're full of them before, we haven't got 
the car building that we want to have, might as well rear them up, six months old, get good money for them. Try again. Is the plan? Right, I'm gonna have lunch, I think, or do something, and then we'll catch up with you, because where he's been, and they've done something whilst I was away as well. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I was actually going to film, that was Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, the mic wasn't in the whole time, so I did loads of stuff, lots of little bits, talked about things we've done whilst I wasn't here, no audio. So I'm redoing it today, which is Friday, but obviously it's Friday's upload day. So I'm going to try and do a Sunday video. And then, so if you have any questions of what I talked about, I mumbled a little bit. I think I was a little bit tired. Boy, I haven't slept the last two nights. If you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, you'll know what's happened. But yeah, put it in the comments section and then I'll try and answer them tomorrow, which is Saturday, and then put it up for Sunday's video. Sunday, we obviously have the charity milking with Niall as well. Um, you'll probably see that later on. Um, very, very, very cool. So today we are vetting as well and we're getting prepped for the charity milk thing. So yeah, let me know, put it in the comment section below. The video's long enough as well. Um, lots of information, lots of stuff, and lots of stuff developing. Um, let me know what you're thinking about um, the beef thing. I have filmed a little bit this morning, Friday for Sunday. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm in a good mood. I think I'm probably gonna crash later on. I've literally had about two hours sleep um, last night. I don't even think we had two hours. Having a baby is fun, they said. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in a bit. Bye.